Hi, this is John from Street Eaters, and I've also been in some other bands as well. Fleshies being one of them, Triclops being another one. Um, been involved in a lot of different DIY and underground musical activities, but that's not really what I feel like talking about today. I was just thinking about how politics can factor into rock and what we define politics as and how we really can make them work in a context where we're trying to just make art and do something where people can deliver themselves from the mundanities of the everyday. And I guess this is a question that's been asked for a few different generations and so it's not really a new thing it's probably been covered from all sorts of different bases by all sorts of different people and uh, I do however think it is something that needs to be brought up again and I think it needs to be thought of in a modern context in the sense that perhaps we should realize we are in an era where things are very difficult we're fighting two wars that are seemingly without end uh, we have a economic situation in the United States that does not necessarily look like we're going to recover in the same way we have in the past, where uh, globalization and its forces have created complications for people that don't seemingly have a easy out or an easy solution. And a lot of art, as in the past when things have been difficult in more intractable ways. Uh, a lot of art has gone the way of distraction. There are a lot of people who are playing, you know, a lot of music about the beach or, you know, pizza or really light songs about love. Maybe they're doing videos of them on exercise equipment or something, uh, something that helps distract the mind from the kinds of things that we don't necessarily want to have to face on a day-to-day -day basis. But I think that it almost makes it even more important at this point when things are so bad to occasionally remind people through art and music that there are actually things happening and there are specific reasons for them and there are specific things that can be done to try to make things better and there is some degree of hope. And that hope doesn't just lie in an escapism. That hope doesn't necessarily just lie in a uh, in sloganeering either. But by telling stories from people's perspectives, from different perspectives, from different types of people and people coming from different places in life, from uh, all different walks and all different types of people, I think that those stories and those perspectives can generate a more powerful reaction and possibly motivate people towards action that they might not otherwise do. Um, trying to come into more specific concepts of how this has worked. In the past, obviously, with punk rock, there was a powerful amount of uh, protest music that was made in the 70, late 70s and early 80s, especially coming from England with all the Crass Records bands and uh, bands of that ilk that had a very staunchly um, anti-imperialist stance and were very open about it in their music and their lyrics and often chastised for that and made fun of, which is fine because sometimes the polemic can be almost overwhelming and can just be reduced to empty sloganeering. And it can be ridiculous. It can be ridiculous in the case of bands like Rage Against the Machine, where you have a band that's playing a Tibetan freedom concert with Maoist stars all over their equipment just because they're using revolution and sloganeering as a marketing tool. But we have to think about the way that we do things, about the way we produce art and the way we produce music and the way we reproduce it, the way we put it onto non-recycled materials, the way that we put our, our whole, the way we put ourselves out there for people to consume. And we have to think about it in terms of the context within consumerism. We have to think about it in terms of the context within a global economy and within globalization. And we should think about the hard things. People should be writing songs about war now. And they shouldn't just be burying their heads in the sand and pretending that things do not exist or that they're not happening or that this isn't the arena to deal with it. We need more people to write more songs about the things that make them angry, that make them feel less hope so that they can maybe generate a means to create community and to create a sense of togetherness with others who feel the same feelings so that there can be generated some form of hope. 
so that we can try to go somewhere else in life. And I feel like art has traditionally been a place for that, and music is one of the best vehicles for it. Not sure whether I've really said anything that other people haven't said better, but if it maybe makes one or two bands maybe rethink just writing an indie rock jingle about the beach and maybe think about maybe at least addressing the topic of war or economic sadness among people and definite and definitely other things too like inequality of women in our society and around the world about racism and all the issues that we deal with if i can get just one or two songs out of somebody maybe listening to this and thinking about it twice then maybe we'll go somewhere a little more interesting (laughs) 